Hi, I'm Laura GB and in this Microsoft Fabric video we're going to look at creating a table from a CSV file using a notebook and data wrangler. So here we are in our lake house and we can see in files I've uploaded a products.csv file. We're going to put that into a table using a notebook. So at the top here there is open notebook. I'm going to drop that arrow down and we're going to go for new notebook. And let's just do a couple of, of a couple of housekeeping things before we get going. Notebook one at the top there is an appalling name. So we're going to change that to LGB load products. And then this cell here, okay, is we're going to change that. So I'm just going to change the code for a second. I'm just going to delete out all that. I'm going to leave a hash space and then I'm going to put in load products data, right? And there's two types of cells. There's code cells and there's markdown cells. So we're just going to go over on the right hand side here. There's a little M down arrow. I'm going to click on that to convert it to markdown. And a hash means a heading one. And so there we are. We've got a nice heading for our notebook. Markdown cells are really useful to document your notebooks as you go. And I highly recommend them. In the notes down below, there's a link to the blog post supporting this video. And in there is a link to a really good reference for the basics of Markdown. And I would make it a standard that you have to put in some Markdown to document your notebooks. So let's move on to what we're actually wanting to do. So we're going to go, we're going to load a file. So let's go find that file. I click on files and I, and there's product CSV. Click on the three dots and I'm going to go load data and spark. And there we are. It writes a code cell for us. And in there, it's just loading it. And on the left here, we've got a blue arrow and I'm going to click that blue arrow. And there we go. It took a little while, okay, and it, and it does take a little while for the session to start and things like that, because Spark session has to start in the background. So therefore, in that in that part there, it's loaded the data and then displayed it. You might not want all the data to show, okay, and uh, it, it it's showing me here up, up to fifteen rows, but you might want to be less than that. So what I'm going to do is just quickly show you a couple of things. So on that display. It's, it's what's writing it there and the df is the data frame that stores that has the data inside it and we're going to go df and i'm going to put take and then in brackets i'm just going to put four so that's so i just show me four lines so i don't need to see more but then there's another thing that we could do is i want to check the data types so i'm going to go df dot D types and I'm going to run that cell again and there you are see it took a lot less time this time it's only four seconds but there we go we've got our four rows and underneath we can see our data types so we've got a couple of issues in this data product ID is a string it's also got a space same is true for base price and and also in notes is I just want to get rid of that notes column I don't need it so how am I going to do that I could go away and research re research spark and work out the code there's good enough blogs out there but instead I'm going to use a thing called data wrangler so I run the code my df has some data in it with my data frame and uh, so I'm going to go to data and I'm going to go transform data frame in data wrangler it goes and finds my data frames. If these appear to be blank, run your code. So I'm then going to click on DF. And here we are in Data Wrangler. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do in here. There, I will be doing more videos on this. So we're going to go with the really simple parts we wanted. So product ID. First thing we want to do is get rid of that space. So I'm going to click on the three dots. And I'm going to go for rename column. It opens up a pane on the left here and so I'm just going to go for copying the name and just putting in that underscore and it will show you on the left hand side here the red is 
the how it was before and the green is how it will be now so i can now click apply and there we are product id is fixed so i'm just going to quickly do exactly the same to base price so next thing we said we want to do was to change the data types so i am going to go to product id and i am going to do change column type and this one is going to be int 64 and there you are you can see the changes and i'm going to click apply and now let's move on to base price i'm going to click on the three dots change type and let's go float 64 and apply so last but not least the, dope, the notes column we wanted to drop so i'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to go for drop columns and it says which column and then I can click apply and there we go we've got we've sorted our data okay I can see my data types so I've got I've got numbers up there etc that's all going to work now if I are down the left hand side here you can see the cleaning steps so there are all the steps a bit like in power query where you get all the steps on the right hand side this time it's bottom left okay and we can see them all in there so we've done all that part i think i'm ready and i'm going to click add code to notebook it makes me check that i've got it all right and then i am going to click add and there we are we've got a new cell okay and it's it's got in there it's got a definition of how to do the transformation and then it applies the transformation so df clean is going to be our new data frame so let's run that cell okay we now look at what we've got here and we can see we've got our product id our product base price and category all looking good we've got no notes column no spaces looks good to me so now we need to do our final part which is write this to a table now this is where we actually have to write some code so what I'm going to do is I'll hover my mouse down here and you can see there's add a, add, a code, add a code cell or a markdown cell. So we're going to add a code cell and I'm going to add comments because I think that's 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 right data to products table. Okay, so we're going to start with our df underscore clean and then I'm going to do a dot and there is control space bar will give you the IntelliSense so I can put in right now a few things we need to put, add extra onto here one is the format and the format is in, dollar, in double quotes is Delta because it's a Delta table and then we're going to add in mode because are we appending are we overwriting what are we doing so we're going to do an overwrite and then we're going to do a save as table and what are we going to call that table we're going to call it products this code is in the blog post link below and we're going to click on our run cell and there we are it's completed Okay, we've got seven of seven, we've got seven of seven spark jobs completed. So let's go back to our lake house. And we can see in our lake house, we now have a products table. And there we are, we have our 20 rows of products. Our data types are right. So I am Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.